Master, we've arranged the, um, meeting with the Inspector. Good, Triple Zero. First, the Emperor. Then, we deal with Thanoth. Why, that's Tag's new flagship. And no, I don't think it's at all trashy. To be honest, I'd quite like one of my own. You wish for my presence, Master? Leave us. Come, my apprentice. It is time for you to understand. A long, long time ago, there were many Sith. We rose up against the simpering light. We warred with the Jedi, and lost as we also warred amongst our own kind. For a thousand years, we have kept to the shadows. Not afraid of the Jedi, but ourselves. The dark side is powerful. It is too powerful. The weak will meekly stand in regimented order. The Sith, one master, one apprentice. No more for generations. Generations building to me. I am the first to restore the Sith to their rightful place in the galaxy. As we planned, the Jedi thought the Sith gone. We were so inconsequential. The pomp of the Jedi was insufferable. I set the galaxy aflame, my apprentice. I have purged all weakness and impurity. From the ashes, we would have a new age. I learned from the mistakes of my forebearers. I used those who were not Sith to achieve my aims. And my apprentices? Darth Maul was a loss, but Darth Tyrannus, he was a proton torpedo. He served his purpose and was gone. I had a superior candidate in mind. We did it, Vader. The Jedi destroyed. The Republic, a shattered corpse for me to resurrect as a puppet. And you, Vader, the boy transformed into the man you were destined to be. And then Mustafar. Your failure there jeopardized everything. There was so much more to do. In these most vital decades, I needed an apprentice with might. I sought, of course. I found candidates, but none sufficient. Some with vision, but no ambition. Some fractured souls who I molded to serve a smaller purpose, but all insufficient for the legacy of the Sith, for the Empire to live. Darth Vader had to live. I turned to scientists, the best, the boldest, the ones more akin to the Sith than their Jedi-like peers. Silo was among them. In that long night, with their technology, we remade you. In this way, we saved the Empire. I would have the apprentice I required. I was intrigued by the scientists. What could they achieve if unfettered from the hypocritical morality of the old Republic? We would see. For is it not my duty to chart the possibilities? You made a mistake. Silo grew powerful. His tendrils would deepen Tarkin's initiative. His cancer was as one with its flesh. If I simply tore him free, I would risk a scission of the Empire's greatest minds. While the Death Star was being constructed, that was unthinkable. After its destruction, it was even more so. I had to make him overplay his hand. In the wake of the disaster at Yavin, he came to me with a plan. Darth Vader had failed. He had groomed replacements. I played to his ego and suggested he prove himself. My true apprentice would frustrate the copies. Eventually driven by pride and desperation, Silo would go too far. And then, when he was simply a traitor, we could purge him. Do you understand, Vader? I do. If any of Silo's toys had succeeded, you would be making this speech to them. That does not matter. The dark side is strength. I am that strength. You are, Vader. Silo has run. Find him. He must be destroyed. As you wish, Master.
always admired your punctuality. Thank you for joining me on this little chat. Where's the girl, Thaloth? Dr. Alpha, Lord Vader. Let's call her by her real name. She is your agent, after all. Though you should know, there are some lingering doubts of her doctorate. Where is the girl? This would go a lot quicker if you cut this bluster. I'm not afraid of you. I have something you want. As long as it's in my possession, I'm safe. Patience, Lord Vader. Patience. All in good time. Say your piece. Make it quick. The girls escape. Nagged. Too many loose ends. Too many coincidences. Something grander was afoot than a simple larceny. She was being protected. The suspect was, well, somewhat obvious, Lord Vader. How could she gain the patronage of the Dark Lord of the Sith? I let the business conclude with the slaughter of the Plasma Devils and investigated. And I uncovered a string of fascinating journeys and an equally intriguing string of bodies. Trips to Tatooine. Trips to Naboo. Trips to Rogas Vas. All routes leading to a certain Luke Skywalker. Skywalker? There's a name with history, eh? A powerful bloodline. So much potential. You wish to find the boy, train him in your ways, and supplant the Emperor. Aphra needs to be removed to ensure the Emperor never discovers. You need to find her, and I'm here to tell you where she is. Why? Why? You speak as if there's only one reason. Primarily, the Emperor is weak. A plan stretching across decades to build an unparalleled weapon and a handful of fighters bring it crashing down. His grasp is faltering. A stronger hand is required. The Emperor is a man. I believe in the Eternal Empire. You are better for the Empire. So your plan must succeed. Then tell me. But there's that other why. Why didn't I? For example, send you an anonymous message with her location. Maybe then you wouldn't have to kill me too. Because you are not a fool, Lord Vader. You are tenacious and unstoppable. Look at all the bodies you threw into my path to try to put me off the scent. You would have to know the source. Eventually, you'd find a clue. And then you would not rest until you saw me dead by your own two hands. So, I could send an anonymous message, and then spend the rest of my life running while you waste effort that should have been spent on rescuing the Empire from itself. Or, we could save everyone a whole lot of time. It's been a pleasure working with you, Anakin. She is on the Cosmotanic Steps. <laughs> Are we on corpse disposal duty again? <coughs> Quiet, BT. I'm excited by the prospect, too. I have business with the scientist. Afra is on the Cosmotanic steps in the Outer Rim. You will return her to the Executor. Failing that, she must be silenced. These are your priority orders. Are you capable of this, droids? Hmm. By ourselves, it could be somewhat tricky. For a fleshy one, she is famously resourceful. Luckily, we've managed to acquire a number of friends on our adventures. You'll be fine. No, I don't think Master Vader is going to bring Silo back. Yes, it is a shame. I'd have just loved to torture him to death again. Hello, sir. How are you today? Would be better if I knew what two droids are bothering an old man. We have some need of repairs, supplies, and assorted sundries. Our mistress Afra recommended you highly. She did, did she? What's that girl been saying about Ruan? 
He's got skills that could take a half a dozen tin cans and turn them into a Death Star. But he'd sell his own mother into slavery to pay for his next fancy gizmo. She does say such hurtful things, sir. Yeah, you're Aphra's. Come on in. How is the old girl? She is indisposed. Indisposed in the hands of some awful organic ruffians. No offense, of course. Are you going to rescue her? That's certainly one perspective on it, sir. Rescuing her from all future troubles, I like to think. What do you need? I've taken the liberty of detailing what we require. It's quite extensive. The repairs are the main problem. My chassis is highly customized by Mistress Afra from a Cybod Galactica 3PO model. During a recent adventure, I had to replace my arms with some standard Galactica limbs. And since she's been away, I haven't been able to have them replaced. I managed to have a syringe installed, but little else. You're not a medbot. Why do you need a syringe? For medical emergencies. No, BT. I did not lie. I didn't specify whether I meant solving or creating them. Subdermal electric pulsers, a poison array, and all the rest in a protocol droid? It's not all for me. If you scroll down, you'll see we require some quite considerable munitions. Surface-to-air proton torpedoes, rotary blaster chambers, plasma fluid? Why do a couple of droids need enough ordnance to arm an entire Imperial Special Forces squad? What did he say? Something akin to, we all have our needs, sir. I will stress, our money is very good. Okay, okay. I understand. I'll get to work. Right. Now you're safely unarmed. Oh, very good, sir. Wordplay. I do like wordplay. There was a raid on one of the quarantine worlds in Kala de Hin space. Murdered one of the curators. Now, Slaughter isn't exactly Afra style, but the rest is exactly the sort of crazy fool stunt she wasted her life doing. Someone ran off with a triple zero matrix. Big reward for its return. That's good. If we see one, we'll report it to the proper authorities. We are most fond of money, sir. You know about the triple zero matrix, droid? Only a little. Some manner of murderous protocol upgrade. Assassin bot. Sounds quite frightful. Reattach my arms, sir. The Matrix dates back to the Old Republic. No one knows who thought it was a good idea, but you can presume they didn't live to regret it. Eventually it was locked down and quarantined. Much later, the Tarkin Initiative had a few ideas for how it could be used. Bulk up its ethical systems. Lots of hard coding. It was just too smart. Shot a hole through its own head to remove the relevant circuitry. They didn't realize before they put it into the field. Was it a runaway success? Did everyone involved have a fantastic time? It murdered them and went on a rampage across the universe for three years before they caught up with it and threw it back into quarantine. Well, it sounds like at least he had a fantastic time. You're the triple zero matrix. Very well. You know who I am. Do you know about my little friend? The Tarkin Initiative Blastomech Prototype. Call him BT, sir. Do I have to elaborate on his personal history? I'm sure you heard stories about his activation. I know enough. Now, give me the arms I came here for, so we can bring this all to a satisfactory conclusion. Hmm? How the hell does Afra keep you on a leash? She has very specific, very limited blocks. Plus, in her odd way, she treats me with respect. Most importantly, she has offered me a generally amusing time. It keeps me distracted. Heaven help everyone if I get bored. Oh, very nice, very nice, sir. BT, can you dispose of this fine technician? If you or BD kill me, you're set to explode. It's linked to that very specific, very limited hard coating of Afras. You are the clever one. I can definitely see why you were Mistress Afra's friend. We need you to not report our existence to the authorities, and you need us to leave you alive, due to the terrible delusion organics have that their lives are actually worth the rusty bolt. 
Hmm. We seem to be at an impasse. That we are. Here's the agreed payment, sir. There will be more. This is the start of a fine business relationship. And your friend Afra's fate does rest in our hands. It seems we'll just have to trust you not to sell us out. Goodbye, sir. Oh, very well. But be quick. Quarantine world. Quarantine world. Now where is that curator's contact? No, BT. I think you definitely did the right thing. Hacking the control loops and ethical constraints on the combat droids to give them their freedom is an act of emancipation. I wonder how well Ruin has been treating the combat droids. Maybe he's been kind. Some humans I hear. Hey, it's Ruin. I've got something you'll find interesting. You know that droid? Roger, roger. What? It seems not. Exactly, BT. If people treated droids with more respect, none of this would be necessary. The rudeness is simply intolerable. Yes, on the bright side, the explosions are very pretty. Professor Thury. You were aboard the Death Star until hours before its destruction. You helped with the final alignment tests. Yes, Lord Vader, I... I was lucky. You are in contact with Dr. Saibo. You are friends. Colleagues. I'm not! He's a traitor, I... Your records show that you are an intelligent man. It would be unwise to tarnish this reputation. Sivo's fleet of abominations live in Nebulae. Where? I... I... You lived through one disaster, Professor. Surviving another seems unlikely. He... he's in the... We're getting traces. Silo's fleet is here, Lord Vader. Signal the Executor. Thank Professor Thurai. And then... Execute him for fraternizing with the traitor. Into the nebulae, Commander. There will be no more rotting. Back already, miss? Isn't it a little early? Best thing about multi-sun systems, friend? My no-drinks-before-noon rule is way easier to follow. Hit me. You've got one hell of a tab to settle. Found this little fella in the remains. Got him back on his feet. Droid for a few drinks sounds like a good deal to me. Sure, miss, sure. But you know, when someone drinks like you have, I can tell they're hiding. Especially when you won't even give me your name. What are you running from? It can't be that bad. <sighs> Hello, strangers. I warn you. Droids aren't too popular around here. I dare say that they'll be considerably less popular by the time we're finished. Have you seen this woman, sir? Maybe. Have you anything to make it worth my while? Do you like being alive? Answering will keep you in that blessed state. I assume that's the sort of thing that makes it worth your time. I, I've just seen her head into the bar! Ah, excellent. Answering did keep him alive, BT. Just not for very long. My good droids. Take your positions. Let us begin. <laughs> oh no. Triple Zero, what are you doing? Eliminating witnesses. Master Vader was very specific about making sure you hadn't spread word to anyone else. Who knows what you could have said in one of your drunken binges, Master. The Rebels captured me, I escaped. I didn't tell anyone anything! Well done. I'm sure you'll find not telling anyone anything a far less demanding task when you're safely disposed of, Master. Wait! I'm your master! You take my orders! Stand down now! 
First rule of protocol droids. Protocol. We have a priority order from our other master. We must deal with our priority order before progressing to anything else. I'm afraid we're going to have to hunt you down like the human meatbag you are, Mistress Afra. I am sorry, but I am such a terrible stickler. On my count. Okay! What was the specific order? Why? To bring you to the Executor to await Master Vader. And failing that, silence you. So, I surrender. Hmm. Stand down, everyone. Mistress Afra, I have to say you do take the fun out of everything. BT is very upset. Yeah, great to see you too, Kersantan. Any chance I could bribe you into helping me? Uh. Yeah, I didn't think so. We have a signal silo. A star destroyer approaching. The Devastator. Vader's vessel. Very well. Our preparations are nearly complete. Let us progress. Void Gazer, activate the contingencies. Morit, let's go with Escape Plan JGT HB. No, JGT HB 4. The Emperor and Vader will live just long enough to regret underestimating me. They're making a run for it, Lord Vader. Converge now. One is breaking from the show. Incoming! It's... Brace! I don't know. The devastation is They're going to get away. You are mistaken. Lord Vader, you're on a collision course. Vader! And we're out of hyperspace. We've lost the Imperials in transit to... Problem. We have an unauthorized boarding. A single tie advanced. Of course we do. <laughs> Mollet, take troops and... No. Vader will come through the labs. I'd like the opportunity to study a Sith Lord at close quarters. Very well, Voidgazer. I look forward to reading your report. Apologies, Lord Vader. I'm afraid your journey ends here. I understood the twins' delusions, and Carbon was a soldier. But you are a scientist. Do you think you can stand against a Dark Lord of the Sith? Perhaps not. There's no need to. Not when science can face you. You mean to the fiber animate easily enough when implanted into a Trandoshan. But the beauty of the system was that it could be installed into any organic life form. A Sith Lord versus the latest product of our labs. This promises to be an interesting experiment. If I can be so bold, Mistress Afra. I suspect you'll soon regret your decision to surrender. There are far worse fates than death by blaster. And I'm sure that Master Vader has one in mind. Yes, BT. And if he hasn't, we certainly have suggestions. Notice I didn't say you'd live to regret this. I did. Just making sure. I do tend to overuse subtext. It's terrible to miss the subtext. This is Dr. Afra. Lord Vader ordered us to bring her here. 
Keep her safely locked away for him. Hmm? All right. Goodbye, Mistress Afra. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Move along. Triple Zero! I'm to be safely delivered to the Executor, right? That you are, Mistress Afra. Nice and safely doomed. Then your priority order to Vader is complete! New priority order! Get me out of here! Uh, hold it down. Quiet. <laughs> How annoying. Begin experiment 428 on my mark. Approach Vector E. Go! Neural dampeners holding. No pain response. Activate adrenal stimulants in three, two, one. Hmm. Adequate but uninspiring response. Take a memo. Reconsider mix. Enough. Plate reinforced thorax is maintaining integrity. Excellent force choke protection. Impressive. Thank you, Lord Vader. It's a beautiful creation. The cyber animate systems bridge direct to the Rancor's brain allows a complete circumvention of weaknesses. <laughs> You severed the link! You understand much, Tulan Voidgazer. But not the Force. I have no interest in your superstition. I trust in science. And I must confess, if I hadn't had the chance to test my work directly against you, I'd have been disappointed. <laughs> Vader defeated the cyber animate Rancor. Tulan is engaging him herself, Silo. She better not kill him. <laughs> I find that unlikely, Morit. But she should delay him sufficiently. A shame to lose her. But her real work is complete. Drop us out of hyperspace. We're there. Engage Voidgazer's protocols on the approach to the Executor, and head to the escape pods. All blaster droids, fire at maximum rate, and... Oh, Vader. Some part of you has to admire my system. It is a perfect defense. Wrong. A perfect offense. What? Droid 3, reassume position. Cancel. Ah! <laughs> well played. But too late. I have already won. This is the end, Voidgazer. No. My legacy will continue. And think I have General Tag to thank. When you are letting those criminals who stole that fortune escape. When Carbon pursued that rebel pilot. When the twins chased the Void Devils. Do you know where Tag placed me? That Silo's fleet approaching. Prime all batteries and fire at will. General Tag, our weapons are disabled. Reboot the systems. Controls are inoperative, sir. All doors are sealed. We don't have any control. I sense a disturbance, Tag. I do hope nothing is amiss. Sir, I... My Emperor, we have been cut off from the rest of the ship. We are operating on our own life support systems, but there's no way out. Uh. In my defense, I did make the requested improvements to the Executor's firing arrays. 
but I must confess to adding some features of my own. I am a martyr for science. You cannot kill me. You can only make me immortal. Collision course cannot be altered. No override is possible. It's a shame to lose her. She was a fine vessel. She served me well. I will remember her fondly. As the weapon that ended Darth Vader. Enough mourning. Our new flagship awaits. Yes, please do wake up, Master Afra. BT is getting titchy. We appear to have rescued you, without murdering anyone, too. Something of a disappointment, truth be told. What? What happened, Triple Zero? I... I passed out. Some kind of gas? Correct. A human-targeted neurotoxin. <gasps> Highly permeable across safety filters. I'm genuinely impressed. Everyone who hasn't received an antidote from their most faithful droid assistant is unconscious. Uh. Oh, calm down, BT. I was getting to that. Yes, obviously it's ineffective against aliens or droids. Ah, the disadvantages of monoculture. Once more, I have to question the wisdom of replacing the droid armies with fleshy ones. All this embarrassing slumping didn't happen back in the days of the Old Republic. Anyway, with everyone lying drooling on the floor, we should be able to escape with relative ease. Black Rosanta and his docked, awaiting us. What? Uh, I know my head's not straight, but did this ship just move? Correct. If I'm not mistaken, someone is stealing the executor, and is presumably responsible for all the chaos. I have to admit, I do feel a certain spark of professional jealousy. We're clear of the docks, Silo. Then what are you waiting for, Morit? Activate the ion charges. All pursue dead in space. <laughs> they won't even be able to signal. Thank you once more, Dr. Voidgazer. Your work always was exemplary. Geniuses like us made this ship. It's only just that we should have it. Nothing can stop us now. Set course for- What's happened? We've stopped! The engines are dead. Vader to bridge. You have lost control of the engines. You will not be escaping. I am coming for you. Vader. <laughs> but we saw the flagship smash itself to pieces against the side of the Executor. There's no way he could have survived. I'd imagine he managed to eject and land on the Executor's hull before slicing his way in to frustrate me further. How he survived doesn't matter. He must survive no longer. Let me destroy him. I am the missile you spent a lifetime crafting. On final approach to its target, I... No. He is coming here. We must use that. Divide troops between guarding the bridge and a retrieval squad. It seems we have especially precious cargo. The Emperor is aboard. Bring the dog's master to me. Meanwhile, you will travel across the surface of the Executor. Avoid Vader, then reroute the engines. And if all else fails, I risk the alternative. Silo directive to all parties. Vader is boarding. Prepare perimeter on bridge. Yes, Master Afra, get inside. I believe we should be leaving. I... 
Really? Why bother? I can run, but Vader's not going to let me get away. This is true, Master Aphra. Doesn't matter particularly to us, of course. As long as someone dies, we're just dandy. Squad Vino 6, convert to the Emperor's quarters and bring him to the bridge. Hmm. We're not leaving, Master Aphra. Not yet! I've had another one of my patented never-go-wrong ideas! You are quicker than I thought, Mordit. But just as predictable. I always knew it would end like this. You and me, the old versus the new. You are correct, child. This ends. Ah! Get the door open. Pilo wants the Emperor on the bridge immediately. It'll be open shortly, sir. Just cutting the lock. Leave the poor defenseless Emperor alone! What has he ever done to hurt anyone? <laughs> All troops to the bridge immediately. Why are you even here, Chrysanthemum? I owe you money. Don't you think there comes a time you should write off your bad debts? Hey! No need for that. I agree. I'm good for it. Yeah, add that one to my tab. And him. Wait. They're pulling back. And I bet I know where they're going. Lord Vader. Your machines are insufficient. Perhaps. But you forget. You are one of my machines, too. I've kept this for 20 years. Just in case. I didn't want to use it. It was entirely possible that my private access would have been disabled in the years since I helped rebuild your body. But it appears I was overly concerned. And I could have turned off your cybernetics any time I wanted. You were never a threat to me. I could have always brought you to your knees with a single click of a button. I often wondered whether what rose from our operating table was a machine or a man. Good to have an answer. Silo to fleet. Continue the plan. The Executor is secure. Vader is no longer a threat. The chosen one! I loved you, Anakin. You're a liar and a coward! If you love me, Obi-Wan, you would have killed me. You wanted this, Anakin? Would this have been better? Yes, it would have. For you. If 
you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you can imagine. I need not imagine being more powerful. I am more powerful with every step I take away from you. No! You killed him! Activated. How? I killed him. Impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible for the Force. He killed Silo 5. Somehow. Silo 6 has to escape. Quickly. Master, I have freed the ship from Silo's control. The power is returning. Good. Are there any remaining problems? Just one. It is being dealt with. Do so and return. There is much to discuss. You bet there is, Your Emperor Highness Master, sir. Who dares intrude into my private chambers? I'm Dr. Afra. We've got a mutual friend. I've got things you need to know. Executor of the Lord Vader. Do you require your assistance? Never. He's not going to stop. Silo to all remaining fleet. Cover us until we can jump. Final hour. Ah! Hold that! Ah! 
I've no one to rely on but myself. Is it jealousy? You are trapped in your broken form, while I am immortal. These wonderful machines giving me as many lives as I need. You are wrong, Silo. That I can kill you repeatedly is by far your most appealing trait. Still, my achievements were great. You cannot take that from me, even now. I transcended the laws of nature and the trap of the Force. I made myself immortal. I will make you ash. You will fly into the sun. Please, my mind is protected against such simple Force trickery. I was not speaking to you, Silo. No! No, he can't. This is a machine. My machine. I am the master here. I... Impossible! Silo is dispatched. Is there anything else you require, my master? I was hoping for a full report. But your aid has been most helpful in filling in the gaps. Why did you never introduce me to your boss, boss? The Emperor is one hell of a guy. Creating your own empire within the Empire? Securing finances by open robbery from Imperial treasuries? Covering up the crime by slaughtering those who would expose you? Oh boy, are you in trouble. Most impressive, Vida. You let your anger and pride guide you to the darkest places. That is our way, Lord Vida. All you did in the shadows is most pleasing to me. You are everything I could have hoped for. I'm sure you will want some words with Dr. Afra. Meet me on the bridge afterwards. I need to talk of the recent disasters with General Tag. Walk with me. <gasps> I... Uh, you have to understand, boss. I didn't want to betray you, but you didn't exactly leave me many options. I figured prove myself to him, get on your boss's good side, and he'd protect me from you. He'd give you a slap on the wrist for your bad boy antics, and then we could get back to normal. But he loves it. I proved you to him. And I didn't betray your real secret, whatever's going on with that rebel kid. So things couldn't have ended better for you, boss. You understand, yeah? Enter. <laughs> the airlock. No! No! You promised me the saber nice and quick! <laughs> you promised! I promised you nothing. I did everything you wanted and more! You can't! No! No! The delightful girl won't be joining us? A shame. I have talked to Grand General Tag and come to a decision. Due to the obvious failings in his command, he is to be demoted. Starting immediately, he is to cede all control into your hands. 
The fleet will be yours. The Executor will be yours. I leave you to educate your subordinates about this brave new era. Lord Vader, these have been difficult transitional times, but my decisions across the Empire have led to increased stability, measured on several key vectors. I can have statistical details compiled immediately and presented for study at your pleasure. Yes, I overfavored Silo and the Shooter World War. But that also came to the desired conclusion, and while my granting Dr. Voidgazer full access to the Executor led to the recent unfortunate situation, even that had its positive results. She completed her assigned tasks, making several important improvements to the Executor's core systems. For example, a 7.4% gain in the Shield Array's short-term recharge, married to an efficiency increase of... <sighs> Admiral Ozzel, when will the Executor be ready? The... The Executor suffered minor damage in its hijacking, but first estimates project it's relatively limited in scope. We should be ready for its launch in a month. You have two weeks. That's impossible, Lord Vader. The workforce will- You sound suspiciously like General Tag. The Executor will be ready, Lord Vader. Soon. sure how long a human can stay alive while exposed to hard vacuum, but now is not the time to indulge in your experimental mindset, BT. Retract her aboard. Swiftly! <coughs> yes, quite. Are you alive, Master Afra? Maybe. Yes, you can have your stolen ingots back, Chrysanthemum. I'm done. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Master Afra. Having Master Vader eject you into space and reusing the equipment from the Sontal Pride robbery to retrieve you, elegantly done. What can I say, guys? Crushing fear of imminent death is a great motivator. Only way he'd let me go is if he thought I was dead. Only way he'd think I was dead was if he'd killed me. Hmm, of course. He might have always used the saber. He's Darth Vader. He was never going to be so kind. Hmm. Point taken. What now? Get me to the back to tank and get us out of here. And that was fun. 
Let's never do it again. Oh! <laughs> 